So let's say we want to solve now 1 minus x times x plus 3 is less than 0. Now, you might be thinking, well, it's a little strange that I would put a question at, as the end of these sets of problems, uh, as this set of problems, uh, that looks easier than the previous one. But really, what I want to do is to make sure that you don't get tripped up. Because, essentially, you must make sure that you sketch this graph appropriately. Now, we've got zero on one side of the inequality, we've got it factorised so it's ready to be sketched. Now, because we have a minus x, so when you multiply this out you get a minus x squared, that means that the curve, the parabola, is like this. Okay? It is upside down to all of the other problems that we've considered. So where is it crossing the x-axis? Well, it's crossing the x-axis at 1 and minus 3. So we have minus 3 there and 1 there. So now it's asking, where is the parabola below the x-axis? And it's below it here, so to the left of minus 3, and there, so to the right of 1. So two distinct regions, so two distinct inequalities, and that solves the original problem. The key here was making sure you've got your sketch the right way around. If you hadn't and you got it up the other way, then you would have got a different inequality here that would have been wrong.